Here's another tool just so that you are aware of when we're talking about immersive reader. I just wanted you to know what that looks like for students. Um, this is something that can be used for pages, but it can't work for assignments, unfortunately. But we're going to go to one of my pages here. And then we are going to go to my virtual instruction. I'm in the student view. So I'm going to click on a module. Actually, I'm going to click on a page on the module. So we're going to do this. So here is a page that has instructions. And then I'm going to click on the immersive reader. Sorry, I'm getting all these notifications. OK. Reading preferences. I can choose a language here. So we're going to do choose Spanish. And there's different types of Spanish. I'm going to move my box over here. Show one at line, multiple lines. All right. Instructions. Instrucciones. And that gives a picture. For. Para. So I'm curious if there's a way. On. In. So just something that they can do. Um, I feel like I had this be able to actually read it to me in that particular language. Um, picture dictionary, so you can turn that off. So there's lots of different things um, that they, okay, by document, here we go, this is what I want. So now it's translated it already. So by doing document, here is my page in Spanish, in Espanol. So a really cool tool, um, I'm thinking I'm gonna make a video now that I'm looking at this so that our families know um, about this great tool so that they can have things. This can't work for assignments, so um, unfortunately, so that's where I, the video is a good thing, but this is a really great tool, uh, maybe even to let your families know. Bye-bye. Thank you.